Got him. Oh, that's a good one. I need to loosen off that drag. light on me but not from no shadow from okay. hey y'all what's going on welcome back to the channel it is Devin behind the camera myself Weston Smith ready to tackle some kayak fishing this afternoon it is beautiful the water is looking crystal clear today we haven't fished this spot in a while and we are excited to but before we get into it a couple holiday deals for y'all you might notice we're rocking the ugly fishman sweater skip the lint <laughs> available now at Carl's Bait and Tackle who is sponsoring today's episode we can't thank them enough and also we've got an exclusive for y'all local buyers skip on online Walmart check this thing out there's an advent calendar for your favorite angler there's different gifts baits inside I don't want to spoil too much because obviously it's one of those countdown calendars where uh, you want to leave some up to mystery but I'm just gonna go ahead and pop open one of these sections for you these are gonna be available at most every Walmart y'all we just opened up one pocket we have got some worms in there. I'm gonna open one more. There's 12 here, 12 days countdown. I see some hooks. I'm not gonna spoil the type, but there you have it. Different baits and gifts. Toss these under the tree, makes a perfect, simple holiday gift. This is the Mystery Tackle Box 12 Days of Fishmas Advent Calendar for 2021, featuring baits for pan, fish, and bass. Doesn't get much better than that, unless, of course, you wanna grab yourself one of these bad boys right here. Mm. Lastly, don't forget about those Black Friday, Cyber Monday specials, y'all. ShopCarls.com. Tons of Guggen products are at the cheapest price ever, as well as your favorites. From so many different brands, you are not going to have a hard time finding something for yourself or the angler you know. So, with that being said, thank you so much to Carls for sponsoring today's episode. We are now going to get out and mix things up a little bit. I'm going to toss a fly rod and some conventional tackle. I haven't thrown a worm in a little while. I'm going to have a T-rig set up. And Devin's got a whole slew on her kayak. She's got a big old soft plastic swim bait. She's got the saucy swimmer rigged up with an underspin. She's got a drop shot, a Texas rig. She's ready to go. We should be dialed and hopefully we can land some big fish here in the next few hours before sunset. So tag along y'all. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We'll catch y'all with the first fish in the yak. Let's assemble this thing on the drive. That's right. We're starting off with the boosh, the big bait. You might have like the crack and crawling bandito bag. I'm not sure, but there's like, there's a little bit more. Let's see what we got here. Nine foot, four piece rods aren't always the easiest to assemble on the kayak, but we'll make it happen. I might have to stand up for this last one. Okay. Foot pedal steering. I can dig it. Go ahead and tie her up. Tell you what, Bluebird Sky is dead calm. I don't necessarily expect it to be a big moving bite today. And you guys are probably seeing this out of order. I actually did a full episode breaking out this insane bait right here. There's a lot to tell you about this thing, as well as our brand new uh, combo. I'm not even gonna really give you much of the specs, but just know that video, if you haven't seen it already, it is gonna be out very soon. Now, where's my, where's my cutters? Try not to do stuff out of order like that, but I think it's gonna have to happen for this video. All right, let's get in the game. There we go. Babe. Super pretty coloring, oh my goodness. All right, y'all, first fish in the boat, and that is on that Okeechobee Craw Bandito Bug. Have that Texas rigged with a quarter ounce Wu Tungsten bullet weight and a four-aught hammer hook. Cold, cold fish, this water is chilly. Go ahead and let this guy go. Ooh, <laughs> that was the most splash he's given the entire fight. We've had a few nights where it's just been pretty dang cold here in Texas, and so that has really cooled down these temperatures. I was starting off throwing the saucy swimmer. I've got that underspin, even slow creeping it. These fish just didn't, I didn't get any hits, and I didn't have any followers, so I went ahead and slowed it down. Not seeing any bait fish and everything in the shallow areas where it was really kind of murky and stuff, so made my way back into this back pocket. The bite is definitely a bit slow lower and that guy hit whenever it was just sitting still i was actually messing with my boat motor oh oh yes little guy little guy but second fish in the boat i will take it let's hike bye there we go <laughs> Got it on the swim. Oh, this water's so clear. I can see this guy totally head shaking. Oh, freaking awesome. 
Ooh. Awesome. I'm digging it. All I'm saying is Weston better get himself back here. Third fish in the boat. It feels like we are finally starting to figure out a pattern. And God, this water is so clear back here. What the heck? It's so crazy. Oh, bye, bud. Nice. Hey. Well, I found some on this tree. I don't know if these are bass. Meanwhile, Devin's on three fish. Got him. There we go. That thing had it for a while, too. He's actually fighting. This might actually be a big fish. Wow, he's pulling some drag, y'all. That's a good one. Oh my. Oh, that's a good one. I need to loosen off that drag just a hair. Wow, that's a good one. Oh my gosh, this might be the biggest one I've ever caught here. This is insane. This is a big fish. Oh my. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's a giant. Texas rig pulling through. Oh my gosh. Yo. Da 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 That will do it. That's like a five pounder. What a fish. That's a four plus. Easy. All day that's a four plus. So fat. Bulging eyes. What a fish. Holy smokes. That's what that ugly fishman sweater will get you. That's what it'll get you. Devin's over there. She said she's caught like three so far. But now I'm not jealous anymore. She's probably caught a big one at this point. I thought it was gonna snap me off for a minute. It dug down so hard and the drag was locked. You gotta be careful. You know, you want your drag locked when you're setting the hooks with those big beefy Texas rigs with heavy line, big hooks, things of that nature. But look, if you know that fish is sizable and he starts to dig, he is gonna snap yo sh So you gotta make sure you back off the drag a little bit, let him run, play him out. And uh, I think we kinda got a little lucky landing that fish just because of that one hard pull where it did not break. So major shout out to Guggen Squad Braid to Floral Carbon Leader. That's the 20 pound fluoro. Whew. Let's keep it up, y'all. Hey. Hey, I just caught like a four plus. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man, I just missed. Oh, no way. Okay, now I got one. Really? On the. What? That's funny. I think I got the fish that I missed. Ow. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll leave it to it. I'm going to try and hit some of these trees then. I might try and switch over to the fly rod now that I caught them. It was good and you caught a handful as well, so I'll try Yeah, it that was on the worm though? Yeah, that was on one of those red exo ribbons. We were throwing them for a while, like the black and red, like seven inch yeah. Like curly tail. Yeah. Yeah. So, but any Texas rig, you would hit any Texas rig. Nice. I think between Devin and I at this point, there's four or five fish in the boat, but look. Worming these things up is too easy, man. Texas rig, golden stable. Anybody in the right mind can go over to shopcarls.com and grab them some worms and they can put something together. But now, it's on to the challenge. We're back to the fly. Big Bertha, she finna catch us one. I'm like literally stuck on this little island thing right here. Just an island boy. Hey, I'm just trying to make it on the island. <laughs> some of y'all got that. So, if... Oh gosh dang. If I were to have caught that fish on this rod, it would have been the biggest fish I've ever caught on the fly. All I need is a three and a half plus and it'll be my, my fly rod PB. And this bait is gonna be what does it. I can promise you. But it's just if they're willing to hit this today instead of something on the bottom because they've been really liking those baits just right there in front of their face on the bottom. I did just again see one fish come up and side swipe this thing. I saw it like go berserk for a second and then I think the fish was on to me. I figured it would have come back and hit it a second time but I think it was a little too close to the kayak. Got him. Nice. There we go. Oh, oh, he's taking us under. Come on up. Come on up. I got you. First one on the changer. Y'all, it's a little guy though. What the heck? What on earth just happened? Why? 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 No, we don't want you. Go away. Are you going to catch a four to five pounder on a little worm and then you're going to get a pound and a half over here? Shoot. All right. 
Bye. <laughs> That's gonna do it, y'all. What a great day of kayak fishing. We stuck it out till sunset. We caught that big one, got on a handful of numbers. We also broke out the fly rod with some gear we're gonna be talking about in a future video. I know a lot of that's new. Don't worry, we got you covered. Full details to come. If you ask a lot of questions in the comments, I'm going to try and get to them. But just know that the full breakdown on that entire combo plus the bait, there's so much to it. It's going to be a very exciting episode. It's coming very shortly. But nonetheless, some of our favorite fishing out there on the kayaks today. Be sure to check out shopcarls.com for all your angling holiday needs. And don't forget to grab one of those advent calendars from Walmart only. It is an exclusive $24.99. Run down there and grab an easy gift for the fishermen you know, and we'll catch y'all on the next episode. Peace. <laughs>